All right, let's see. I had to restart the application because the fucking game was so loud. Oh, why? Oh my god, what is going on? Why is the audio so loud in my headset? What the f- Oh my god. It's killing me. How do I lower this shit? <laughs> Hold up. What the hell just happened? Why is it so fucking, like, stupidly loud? I gotta lower it on my end. I can't even lower it, lower it any more than what it already is. Jesus. Let me see. Okay, there we go. I don't know what the hell happened. Oh my god. It was just so goddamn loud. And my headphones. For no reason. Jesus. Alright, so... We're back with more Persona 4. Persona 4 Golden. Hi, welcome. Man Machine, everything in between. I'm hitting my microphone, that's not a good thing. Alright, so. Persona 4 Golden. Uh, like I said, off screen, since the last stream, I did some stuff, right? I, uh, I went back, grabbed the peach seed that we needed, and I fought Naoto again. Not only that, but I also did a... I also did a bunch of other shit. And by a bunch of other shit, I'll show you in a second. If I can remember... Uh, if I can remember... Which save file was I using? Oh, shit. It's this one. It's this one. This is our new save file. This isn't the save file we ended off on. This is the one that I went back and did some stuff to. Right? So. First things first. Let's see. We're waiting for Naoto to recover. So, since last time, we rescued Naoto. Right? We went into the TV world. Did Naoto's dungeon. Didn't honestly expect to finish that. Uh, during the last stream. Thought we were going to start this stream with that, but did it. So that's nice. That's out the way. And now, Naoto hasn't officially joined our team yet, but Naoto's going to join our team. So now the overlay has been updated, finally, to include our final party member, Naoto. Everybody say hi, Naoto and her beautiful hat. But also, in between the streams, I made good on some promises. And by that, I mean... I did a lot of grinding. <laughs> Oopsie. Right? Uh, so, Kanji and Rize are pretty up there. Well, Rize is going to be pretty up there no matter what. Kanji's pretty up there because, you know, I was like, might as well get Chie and Yukiko up to speed with everyone else, right? While I, you know, get Yosuke up there. But as I was doing it, I was like, well, someone's going to end up being overpowered. Because I'm not going in there with only fucking three characters, right? So, you know. Here's some of the changes that have been made. I'm still using the same persona for me. Zanowo has some stuff. Some new stuff. I think some new stuff. I'm, I'm not sure. <laughs> but feel free to... Feast your eyes on that if that's something you want to look at, right? Kanji's about to get Monteru Kanja, so that's cool. But now, we got a bunch of free time. A bunch of time to do anything we want, really. Alright. Head out for the evening? Why not? I'm also sitting here with a cup of coffee so that I don't fucking go to sleep and die instantly you know during the stream and I'm not I'm not sure does coffee dehydrate you I think it does 
because my lips are feeling kind of dry. I also got a bottle of water next to me just in case. <laughs> just in case. Gotta move my mouse out the way. There we go. All right. Oh, Yukiko, you ready to go for a bike ride? That's cool. So, in the world of social links, what is going on with us? Yosuke, done. Yukiko, done. Rize, halfway. Chie, finished. Nanako, almost there. Cool. Fox. Thanks for reminding me. Gotta give this guy his fucking peach seed. Cool. And then he's all like, oh man, dog. There's this goddamn cat. You gotta go feed it. I'm like, okay, sure, why not? Let's go feed a fucking cat. Let's go do that. At least it's not like Persona 3 where you gotta go buy some goddamn cat food. Super cat food? Diet cat food? Whatever the fuck it was? Uh, is it this cat? Could this be the cat that you were t told about? Hey man, here's the fish. If you remember, earlier in the playthrough, we went and got two little red fishies. It's coming into play right now. You should report back to the guy. Hey man, I fed that cat. Cool, here's the punk's way. Thank you. Um, and I think that's all we gotta do for that guy. I believe after you feed the cat, you head to the Dojima's residence. There's a cat! Will you pet it? Yes. The cat has noticed you. Will it scratch? Actually, it wants you to give it attention. Time will pass if you play with the cat. Will you spend the day with the cat? Leave it alone. I'm not doing that. I don't think you have to play with the cat yet. I'm not even sure if you have to do it at all. Let me see. I think you just gotta feed the cat. Notice that it's there. Let me see. Feels like the fog sticks around. Oh wait, no, this is the wrong guy. My bad. Don't talk to me, I'm not your friend. <laughs> you. Try to figure out a way to force him to overcome his fear. Bring cat here. I think I gotta play with the cat. Ah, oh, shit. Hmm. Depends. Do I want to spend the day with the goddamn cat? We still gotta... We still gotta hang out with Kanji. He is not looking too hot. Marie is done. And we gotta get some courage up. For Naoto. Not right now though, because Naoto is recovering. So let's see what our options are. Bye, Marie. Rize is available. Um, you know what? No, I'll hang out with Rize. Let's do it, girl. Oh, senpai. Uh huh. You walked Rize home after a trip to Okina City. <laughs> I placed lots of special orders. Come with me next time when I go pick him up, senpai. I had tons of fun today. Not many people try to come by and talk. Come by, my bad. Come up and talk. <laughs> Maybe they already forgot who I am. Oh yeah, want some tofu to take home? I helped make them today. Wait right here. Excuse me, you son is it? Um, sorry about the other day. I mean, Naru, fuck. Am I even saying that name right? I'm Minoru, 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 fuck, Minoru, it, in no way, saying that, saying that together as like a name is hard for me, Mino, it, I, like the second name doesn't want to come out when I say the first one, it's hard, but whatever, you know it, Rize Kuchikawa's former manager, I'm sorry to bother you, but could you give this to her, you know I handed you a letter, a fan letter came, you see, why so invested in her? I'm one of her fans myself. Her talent is captivating. Rize always looked forward to this girl's letters, so... 
In today's cult, in today's cult of personalities, cult of personalities, that's a, okay. That's a phrase I've never heard before. Being popular carries its own problems. Your schedule fits together minute by minute like a jigsaw puzzle every day your squeeze utterly dry there's an obvious joke that i can make there <laughs> you ever just wrestle your dog <laughs> for food because because you live and care for their health and well-being oh you mean when they just pick up shit from the ground question is the morality of wrestling your dog to the ground for that reason and i'll i'll fuck this little bastard up Luckily, for the most part, I don't need to, like, grab food out of my dog's mouths, like, from the ground, because I, myself, I just always keep an eye on them when I let them outside and shit. And usually I just, like, like, the moment they come inside the house, I'm like, alright, I'm not letting you run around the house over there, because I just don't trust people around me. They're like, oh, no, just let the dog eat the food off the ground, it's fine. Here, give it some peanut butter. What kind of peanut butter is that? Is it Jif? Don't do that. It'll kill them. Right? Remember, I came home one time, they are like, Oh, I'm just giving the dog animal crackers, and I'm like, No, don't do that. What the hell is wrong with you? Yeah, but... <laughs> wrestling your dog. 100%. When you get a- when you have a big dog, right? You always wrestle slow. You always gotta wrestle them. Even just for fun, just start beating them up. And they start beating you up. Even my small dogs, like, sometimes I'll just look at them from halfway across the room, and then they'll look at me. And they know it's gonna happen. I'm just gonna run up and tackle the shit out of them. They gotta be ready for it, at all times. <laughs> but even knowing that, I still want her to come back. She was genuinely brilliant. Yeah, I read that right, okay. <laughs> Not only that, but she must be strong enough to use her pain as a foundation. From what I could see, she's relying on you. So could you... Sorry, senpai, but we're all sold out. You know it, son. Quit pestering me. Wait, what did you say to Senpai? I'm sorry, I'm leaving now. Goodbye. Gee. Hounding me even after I quit? He's practically a stalker. To think I trusted him, I feel betrayed. Man, that's some harsh words, Rizai. Jesus, betrayed? Maybe that maybe that's a little that's a little too harsh. You know, you did say he treated you like one of the family, like his own daughter. His own dollar that he sells for money. <laughs> uh, he's just kind of worried about you. No. No, he just wants Rizet back. The me I cre uh, the me he created. Rizet is biting her lip. So, what did he come for? He told Rizet why you know he came and handed her the fan letter. Oh. This letter. She wrote again. I see. But he came all the way out here for this. This girl is a middle school student. She writes to me all the time. I did this public service campaign once to stamp out bullying. She said it inspired her. She wrote that she wouldn't let bullies get her down, that she'd try to make some friends. Ever since then, she wrote me letters. This happened to me today. I was able to say this. Stuff like that. Seeing Rizette work hard encourages me. It makes me feel like I can, I can still hang in there. <laughs> she doesn't really know how it works, huh? But still, every time I read her letters, I feel like Rosette's actually meant something. So whenever things got tough, I would read them over and over. Senpai, you still got some free time? Sure, Rize. Always. <laughs> Nearly busted your hip just now because of it. Can't leave your dog out for five seconds where he tries to eat something off the ground. Yeah. Especially around here, there's like kids around here, and I got small dogs, and one of them fucking has cataracts, so... It's like whenever I let my dog out, I gotta fucking... It's more like I'm watching the kids rather than watch my dog, cause it's like, oh my god, can you guys like, calm down before you fucking step on them? Like, holy shit. Good thing that my dog still has- he has pretty good spatial awareness for his cataracts. And honestly, even today, I uh... I checked, um... I was checking up uh, the money that I have for the surgery to do on that, and I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting for like a new credit card to come in for it. Honestly, once that shit comes in, I gotta make a call. Rose seems to be deep in thought after reading the fan letter. Hmm. She's worried about me. 
officially I'm taking a break due to illness, so... Before I quit, there was talk about a part in a movie. She sounded like she was really looking forward to it. Please get well soon and come back, she says. I'm so glad you were here. I was scared to read it alone. I gave up on being reset. I can't meet her expectations. Hmm. She'll understand. I don't know what to say in this situation, Rize, honestly. She'll understand. Yeah. I hope someday I can say thank you. And I'm sorry. Sorry. Huh. There's nothing to be depressed about. Rize's eyes seem to be watering. Anyways, Rize doesn't exist anymore. It's not just this girl. I disappointed lots of other people. The president of the company told me that over and over, and I knew already. I knew this was the path I chose, but... <laughs> Maybe I'll just inherit the tofu shop. I'm the shop's main attraction now. I bet I could make it thrive. Senpai? Maybe we should really just do it, you know? What I was saying a while back. We can, you can marry me once we graduate high school, and the two of us can work at the tofu shop together. I fucking knew some people that, first of all, I knew like two people, they, they both, they both went to the same school. I knew two people that got married in high school, and then I know like, probably like three different groups of people who got engaged in high school for some fucking reason. The people who got married in high school, they did it for some, like... It was like a family arranged marriage or some shit. You know? And I was like, what? <laughs> it was some crazy shit. I'm not gonna go too much into... I'm not gonna go too much into detail with that, but it was... It was, uh... One of the people was a cousin of one of my friends. And they were telling me about it. And they are like, yeah, she's getting married. And I'm like, who the fuck is she getting married to? And she's like... And she's getting married to her cousin. Like, what? <laughs> I was like, wait, hold up. What did you say to me? Oh, man. It's like a cultural thing that they were doing. Fucking, I don't know, man. I was just like, the moment... Uh, the moment I heard that, I was like, wait. <laughs> wait. Does that sound fun? How about it? I mean, if you're serious about it, Rize, we can... Listen, we can just run away right now. They don't gotta know. I got money. I'm carrying, like, what, 300,000 yen in my pocket right now? If I'm serious, I think I'm pretty serious. You're always so calm. <laughs> but I like that. She said, yeah, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Thank you, senpai, for being with me all day. I feel a bit better. Yeah, I'm fine. I can contribute something. I swear to god, it sounds like it sounds like something's like moving in my room, but it's not. It's just the fucking rain on the window outside. So I can hear I can hear a little bit of it through my headphones. And it just sounds like someone's like tapping on my door or some shit. Looks like there's still plenty of things only I can do. You can sense Rize's quiet quiet? Yeah, quiet will. Whenever I see the word quit, quiet, and quiet, I get confused. Right? You feel that you understand Risa even more. That's cool, but uh, Risa, you mind like, not having your legs open all the time? It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird that you stand like that. You know? Just saying. Out here being rated E for everybody. Sorry for dragging you around all day. I'll let you go now. Speaking about Rize, see you later, senpai. this this fucking girl was giving me a goddamn heart attack earlier today. Mainly because, you know, hey Kabito, nice to see you You're again. Back. Also, hope you guys enjoy the free emotes now. Fucking finally, after so many years of axing Twitch for it, can we get some free fucking emotes? Can we do that? Just for followers? Like, come on 
kind of weird to make people i think i think if someone wants to sub to you it should be because they like your content and they just want to like give you a tip or some shit right fucking hey man sub to me for emotes like it's kind of weird it's kind of weird paying for emotes and shit like that but anyways uh rize was giving me a fucking heart attack earlier today because earlier in the playthrough i talked about how i was doing like in the background i was doing kind of another playthrough like a different save file on this game just so that when we get to the end uh i can at least show the version of of the conclusion with all the social links maxed out right and i fucked it up before because I ended it with uh, Yosuke being the only person that had like one point left and he just didn't want to show up like at all for like a whole month for some goddamn reason. But today, I went, I reloaded it where I, where I think I had some extra time. So the last month in the game had some wiggle room. And I was like, okay, let me see if I can try doing this just at a different angle. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prioritize Yosuke. Well, actually, wrong. I'm gonna prioritize Rize, then Yosuke, then Chie, then Naoto, right? So, depending if they were all available at one day, Rize would go first, then it would be Yosuke, then it'd be Chie, then it'd be Naoto. That ended with Rize deciding not to show up for like half a goddamn month for no goddamn reason and literally on the second to last day before the time limit for all your social links is up, Rize shows up, I finish her social link, and then I said, alright, time to run to the Velvet Room and just give Margaret these goddamn personas, just get it out the way. <laughs> so now I have a save file of uh... Of all the social links macked out. No, I was not using a guide for it. <laughs> I'm crazy like that. You're that bored? We'll have a seat. You talk with Dojima about various things. Like that bootleg box of Cheez-Its on the counter. I'm going to sleep. Oh, is that late already? Well, night. Yeah. What? <laughs> she's like, I'm going to bed. He's like, cool. Good night. She's like, that it? <laughs> yeah, that's it. You said you would read me a book before bed. Hmm. Oh, that's right. I got it. I got it. Just a few pages. Yay! Oh. Hold on. Dojima here. Look, ah, oh god. Ichihara. Fucking these goddamn names. Ichihara-san. Yes. Then that means... Well, if it's okay with you, I can be there in just a few. I understand. And goodbye. Dad? Are you leaving? It's my job. But you said you'd read me a book. I can do that anytime. When's anytime? Ugh. Well... Dojima is smiling wryly. Are you two fighting? We're not fighting, why would we be fighting? Come on. You can go, Dad. No, it's not like that. I'm sorry, Nanako. What book you want? It's okay. I promised. Come on, let's go, Nanako. Yeah. Nanako went to her bedroom with Dojima. Man, she made me read the whole thing. Let's talk. Why we gotta talk? <laughs> Sounds like I'm in trouble. He said, all right, now that that's done, let's talk. The phone call was from Ichihara-san, my former senpai. Hearing you say that word is weird. I'm having him run tests on Jisato's hit-and-run investigation. Run test. I, I guess that's the phrasing for that? <laughs> He's gonna spank my ass, fucking... I'm so, like, 
honestly, Dojima, Dojima's a cool dude. I respect Dojima, right? But Dojima just looks like the type of guy that would just lose his shit in two seconds. But he's more calm than that. He seems like someone that would yell a lot. And it seems like he does yell a lot, but he actually really doesn't. <laughs> Only sometimes. Only at Adachi. He yells a lot at Adachi. <laughs> Takes all his anger out on him. Just punch him back. He was calling to tell me that... Uh, oh yeah, test results were in. Judging by his tone, he didn't find anything the police haven't already come up with. I know going over there won't change the test results, but... Dojima looks severely disheartened. I was a white... Wait, what? <laughs> I was a white sedan. <laughs> yeah, it was me. It was a white sedan, most likely large and American. You trying to say something, Dojima? Okay. As expected, no such car is registered in Inaba. No records of one being repaired or scrapped either. Worst case scenario, the car is out of the country by now. It scares me. That I couldn't catch the perp. That I'll never have an outlet for this sick feeling. That I'll just have to swallow it. Every time I look at Nanako. Every time I notice why she looks like her mother. Why she- my bad. Every time I notice why she look like her mother. Fuck. You know what it is? It's this goddamn coffee that I'm drinking. My lips are dry. It's hard to read. It's hard to speak. I feel like my face is being pushed down into reality. And it scares me. I never thought I'd be talking to you about this. Dojima confided in you. You feel that you understand Dojima more. <laughs> I was a white sedan. I killed them all. And that's because Adachi doesn't know how to shut up, yeah. I know I can't stay this way forever. While you're still here, I need to face myself. You sat with Dojima for some time in silence before going to your room. That's fucking awkward. <laughs> Just sit there and say anything? Start staring at a wall? Today is res uh, respect for the age day. <laughs> Got the day off. Cool. You realize that you haven't bought anything from the- Aw, oh, shit. What do we got? Okay, reprisal chain in the um and the other thing. In the Selma. What does the reprisal chain even do? Do I wanna waste the money on this? You know what? Nah, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good, Tanaka. Fucking hate Tanaka so much. I hate him, but I love him, you know? Like, every time, like, I love that he's kind of like a low-key, just cameo in Persona now. Like, I remember, uh, when I was playing Royal, right, and it's even in Persona, I'm pretty sure you can, you know, do this shit in Persona 5 before Royal. But, um, you get, like, a laptop, and you can fix it up, right? And it was, like, what, maybe my third playthrough of Persona 5? At least I think it was before Royal. And I remember fixing the laptop and I was like, what the hell am I going to get for this? And then you turn on the laptop and it's, just, it's the fucking dark web. And you see this motherfucker show up and you're like, ah, it's Tanaka, shady ass motherfucker. He's on the deep web. And it's funny because he's like wearing glasses and shit to hide his face, even though like the dude's face is everywhere. <laughs> The Soma combo sounds better. Eh, I mean, it's... I haven't been in a situation where I really needed to use a healing item yet, and now, uh... And now, I'm pretty sure... We're in a good spot now, level-wise. Since off-screen, I... Since off-screen, I went and just injected steroids into the party. Don't gotta worry about nothing right now! <laughs> we're all good! Don't gotta worry about it. Told you. Told you I was gonna fucking reload that shit. Hmm. Alright. 
So, Rize wants to go for Bak, right? There's really no reason for that right now. Is Kanji available? Kanji! Nope, he's not available. Um... Let me see. School's closed. Nanto is getting... Getting fixed up at the hospital or some bullshit, or at home. Tanaka Social Link in P3, yeah, I know. Fucking... How much money he takes out of you? 10,000? 10, 10,000 yen? Spend time with the cat. Oh, bring him here. Here we go. So you don't gotta spend time with the cat. It's watching me. It's waiting for me to turn around. It's coming for me. It's gonna jump on me. I'm gonna die. But I'm a man. I'm prepared for death. All right. All right. I'll let you touch me. It's eating me. The man was licked by the cat and ran away screaming. I don't think we can see him again today, right? Pretty sure he's not hanging around. If you ever make a website, you may name it the Tark, the Teep Tark Dick Depot for no reason. Why? No reason. That'll be the new version of D4. Dark dreams don't die. <laughs> Man. I wish that game had a fucking second season for it. If you know what I'm talking about, it was a launch title for, um... It was a launch title for the Xbox One, and it was made by... Swery? Right? The guy who made Deadly Premonition? Fucking... And it was... It's weird, but it's cool, right? You heard of Dark Dreams Don't Die, but you never played it? Yeah. It's basically... Uh, I don't know how to explain it, right? Because it's... You know, it's it's one of those games. Like, kind of like Life is Strange, right? But it's not like 100% a walking simulator. Like, there's some quick time event shit that you do, right? But not like... But not quick time event in the sense of heavy rain. It's more video game-ish than that. You know? Why not hang out with Marie? Because she's fucking maxed out. I'm not wasting my time. She's done, man. She can sit there and think about what she did. Actually, you know what? What is my um Oh, now I know what I now I know what I want to do. Back to the residence. Go for a long ride. Gotta do this for the Fox Quest later, so might as well get it out the way. Since you really can't hang out with no one today. I mean, it was a Monday, right? So I could have, like, you know, head head to the dare, uh, daycare, right? But I'm not gonna worry about fucking Airy. Hey, I'm daring now! That's cool. I gotta sneeze. And now that I said I have to sneeze, it's not gonna happen. Welcome home. Hi, Nanako. Bye, Nanako. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, never mind. Never mind. Go back in. <laughs> I didn't even check if her social link was up. You wanna hang out, Nanako? Yeah, let's hang out. Nanako looks as if she's not doing anything. It isn't ready to advance yet. God damn it. Yeah. It's so dark yet it says daytime. Exactly, right? <laughs> <laughs> Nanako, we need to get you like a fucking PlayStation or some shit in that room. What do you do? Just watch Juna's commercials all day? Oh no, in the anime, she watches like this magical girl detective show. <laughs> hey, you. Oh yeah, there's practice today, huh? Well, I'll be there. Laters. Well, I won't, Ko. Now, step off. I'll think about it, Ko. Maybe. Good afternoon! As I'm sure you all know, yesterday was Respect for the Age Day. Did you all take good care of your elders? I sure did. My grandmother is over 90, but she still gets out and sweats uh, by playing gate ball. What the fuck is gate ball? The hell is gate ball? <laughs> 
I just know she's gonna live over a hundred years. Heck, she's almost there. I wish her all the best to reach a hundred. Oh, Narukami, you're a city boy. You might know this. What do you call somebody who's between 90 and 100 years old? Uh, a Decepticon? <laughs> Looks like my hunch was wrong. A, a Nona Genitari- what? Hold up. A Nona Gen Generarian. What the fuck? Oh, is that- is that why we call our grandmas Nonas? Is that why? Somebody in their 90s. I learned that from Mr. Mr. Hosoi. Interesting, huh? Say, why don't we practice gate ball so you- What the fuck is gate ball? She does. It's like a magical girl Sherlock Holmes. Yeah. She fucking spins the episode and she's like, I heard he has a girlfriend. And then he gets off the bus with his Sano, like the old lady. And she's like, what? <laughs> she's like, she's dating the old lady. Uh, when you start dating I, yeah, they go with the, uh, they go with the failed relationship, um, uh, side of the story, side of the social link, with I for that, <laughs> she calls him, he just hangs up, <laughs> motherfucker's like, no, <laughs> and then he's like, excuse me, walks out the room and calls her back, <laughs> shit is so funny, I is one of the best characters that made it through. I'm happy that they gave Ai, like, some time in the anime, because she's great. Imagine if they gave it to fucking Yumi. Oh, no. <laughs> Did Yumi even exist in the anime, now that I think about it? It wasn't Yumi. They went with the fucking little gremlin. Fucking bullshit. Bullshit, man. Uh, damn it. The ringtone he chose is the game over sound from the Atlas game cat. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that sound that I hear a lot when I whenever I try to do the Tower of Babel. I still haven't finished that. It's the four what is it? Is it the fourth one? It's the fucking level where like Oh, how do I explain it? Like the level is just a wall of blood. I mean that's every goddamn level. But it's literally just like one big ass wall with like just, you know, it's like checkerboarded, right? Some blocks here, some blocks missing. And it's like, now get to the top. <laughs> and, like, and I'm like, I can't do it. I can't get past that one. I remember spending like an hour over it and I just gave up. That's the only ending in Catherine Full Body that I don't have. I was happy when Full Body came out too. Jesus. All right, so. Kanji, do you want to hang out with me, buddy? Are you free today? Is that what we're doing? Nope. Gate ball is fancy talk for soccer. Really? Ew. <laughs> Gate ball. That's weird. Hmm. Whether you'd even date uh, Ebihara? He dates I because... Because she likes Ko... And then she likes Ko, and she tells him, she's like, Ko's the whole reason why I'm even like this, because she used to be, like, she used to be, like, overweight and shit, or whatever. And she's like, I didn't like my self-esteem, everyone picked on me, and then my dad came into money, and then I fucking got super rich and super hot. And now everyone's expecting me to just, like, put out, right? Like, rumors about me is, like, I'm the whore of the school, even though she's not. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I just can't stay calm when it comes to those damn cats. I have an idea. Do you know what cats like to eat? If I sneak up on it slowly and touch them while they're chowing down on food, I'd be in control, right? But, to tell you the truth, I'm also scared of fish. You fucking spineless. Whatever, man. No, those creepy eyes? All mud- all, uh, muddied? You wanna speak about muddied eyes, uh, what are those- are they even fish? Can you even call them fish? There's a there's an animal called like what a mud skipper or something like that. You can look it up on YouTube. Those guys are those guys are weird. They're cool, but they're weird. Looking this way and those scales. Is there is there some kind of cute fish? Like Nemo. And this is what you need the second redfish for. Give it to him. What is that? It's so cute. Give it to me. 
I'll use it to ambush the cat. That fish is so cute. Now I'm going to kill it. <laughs> Feed it to the cat. Uh, yeah, but I was in the middle of my thought before I started talking to the guy. Um, yeah, so she likes Ko, and then Ko goes, like, she's like, can you just ask him and see, like, who he likes? And then, you know, she hides around the corner while you act, while he asks Ko, and then Ko goes, you know what? I like Chie. And then she's like, Chie? That fucking tomboy? Come on, I put so much work into my appearance. Right? And then she has her little moment. <laughs> she's like, What's the point anymore? She's like, I'm just gonna jump off the roof. <laughs> and she's like, if only I had a boyfriend that was nice and kind like you. And she's like, wait, maybe you can be my boyfriend. And then you goes, uh, okay. <laughs> Unsure about it. Won't lie, when you play Catherine, it did super easy mode. Yeah, listen. You play a game however the fuck you want. You want to play? You want to play a game on easy? Go ahead and do it. I'm not gonna judge you, right? No one should judge you for having fun with your own damn game, unless you're actively ruining it for everyone else. All right. So, gave the guy the fish. Um, is there really no social links for me to do right now? Where the fuck? All right. Wait. Hold up. What is going on? Cause I hasn't shown up for like a month now. What I what are you doing? She likes to cut class, okay. I haven't seen I like ever since like even last stream, I hasn't shown up once. What the fuck is going on here? Okay, I guess I'll hang out with Ko, but like... I ha I just like disappeared off the face of the earth for some reason. Uh, to be fair, you heard about it, thought it was a joke, but then you tried it and, for <laughs> and forgot to change the difficulty back. Oh, you mean a Tower of Babel? <laughs> Is that what you're talking about? Oh, she had that suicidal moment? Yeah. Ko doesn't look very motivated. Yo. Honestly, I forgot what... I always pick Ko in this, right? I forgot what Daisuke's fucking whole social link plot was even. Was it like he just doesn't like girls? Was that his only problem? I think that was his only problem was that he just didn't like girls. Sup guys, wanna grab some grub on the way home? Huh? Is practice over already? Mine? Yeah. They're just cleaning up. No, mine. <sighs> it's over, isn't it? I gotta go home. Hey you, what's his problem? Is he sick or something? What do you mean, what's his problem? You're the one who came to me the other day and said- Well, I say the other day. Mo more like months ago. You're the one who came up to me months ago and went like, Yo, you wanna help Ko out? Because, you know, the guy's feeling bad. You know? Something else, dude. Hmm. Something else. What's wrong? You know, I'm pretty short for a basketball player. You live in Japan, most people are pretty short. <laughs> That's coming from a short guy. But it has its advantages. I always get a kick out of driving right past all the tall guys. It makes me feel good. Like it's something I can do. No one else but me. Not my grandma, not my sister, it's all me. But what's the point? I had to like look behind me for a moment because I thought my dog was doing something stupid. Who cares how hard I train? It's not like we ever play any real games. It's totally worthless. It has no meaning whatsoever. Ko, you serious, man? I'm out. Later. Alright, I'm head out. <laughs> <laughs> What's with him? You tell Daisuke about what Ko told you on the rooftop. You gotta be kidding! You should be celebrating that they let him play, not sulking. Aww. Damn it! I don't get any of this. But hang on, he said it was he said it was pointless, right? Because they don't play any real games. 
Well then, why don't we give him a real match? Sitting around here thinking about it won't do crap. We gotta take action, right? Hmm. Yeah, you're right, man. We got we gotta save Ko. <laughs> save him? You don't have to make it sound so epic. It's kind of embarrassing. Anyways, why do we start with setting up a real game? Hmm, I got an idea. Hey, you. Who me? What's up, Daisuke? Did you switch over to the basketball team or something? Yeah, right. But listen to this. You guys are gonna have a real match, so pick a day and a team to play against. What? No way! Yes, way. And if you don't play, I'll tell the teachers about all the homework you always copying. Like they give a fuck. That's low, man. Shut up. You better be ready, too, because it's gonna happen soon. You got that? Soon. What? <laughs> you told him to pick a day, and he's like, he's like, but whatever, it's gonna happen soon. Where's the logic in that? I got some dirt on some of the other guys, too, so we should have no problem getting together a full team. Ugh. What about yourself? Uh, oh, uh. yeah. <laughs> Forgot about me. Hell, if we come up short, I'll play too. I don't really know the rules, but whatever, right? You two playing a match for Ko's sake. You feel the relationship has grown stronger. <laughs> the fellow athlete social link has reached rank 6. Alright, next practice will be a real scrimmage. Scrimmage? Scrimmage? I'm gonna go recruit more people. Catch you later, man. See ya. Part of ways with Daisuke and decide to go home. I have a bit of a running nose today. Oh, I'm not hello, sick or anything, home, but for some reason my nose is just like... My nose is on drip today. Uh, Max out your social link. Yeah! My favorite part, because I don't have to read it. I got a phone call from Dad. He's coming home. Let's make dinner together, big bro. There's a lot to do today. Nanako is more cheerful than usual. I bought a bunch of dishes. Pickled radish and veggies at Juness. Big bro, can you make a salad? Yes. I eat salad for breakfast. Not sure thing. Right then. You can be the salad maker. You're damn right I am. We have to start eating our vegetables from now on. <laughs> she says this to the guy who's supposed to be in charge of the vegetable garden, but never plants anything. <laughs> A well-balanced diet is important. Nanako confidentially, uh, conf confidentially, why did I say it like that? Confident, mm. confidently, words, language, repeats this as if she, why did the music stop? What the fuck? Okay. As if she heard it from somewhere else. My teacher said that families help each other. After mom died, dad and me have both been lonely, but, but I have dad. And I need to do my best so Dad doesn't feel lonely either. You're my family too. So, let's work hard together. But I'm not your mother. I've never chose that. I don't think I have the guts to. I would never do that. Yeah! Nanako looks really happy. Present? From Nanako? Oh man, family picture! It has Nanako and her parents in it. Dad made extra copies. You're family too, so you should have a family picture. Let's get a picture of you and me and Dad all together one day! <laughs> I love you, big bro! You're the best, Nanako. You feel a warm sense of love from Nanako. You can feel a tight bond between yourself and Nanako.
Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a genuine bond. These genuine bonds shall be your eyes to see the truth. We bestow upon to thee the ability to create Sarosha I don't know how to pronounce it. I probably offended somebody. If I did, I apologize. We need to hurry or Dad'll be home before we're done. You prepared dinner with Nanako. I'm home. Dad, welcome home. Yeah, yeah. I made dinner with Big Bro today. We made salad and um um a bunch of other stuff. But mostly the salad. I see. Good work, Nanako. Go wash your hands. Hurry, sit down. Go wash your dirty ass hands. She's really cheerful. I'm sure it's thanks to you. I got it, I got it. Let's eat then. Wash your fucking hands first. I'll tap you with a ruler. The three of you sat around the table and enjoyed each other's company. How come they only eat... They only eat breakfast at the table in the morning. Like, the table in the kitchen. But they eat dinner, like, around the fucking, yeah. uh, coffee table. <laughs> Go wash your goddamn hands, you stupid motherfucker. <laughs> What's up, Kanji? What's up, Widow Peak? Twins Peak? I gotta rewatch Twins Peak. I tried rewatching it because I watched it before, and then I, for some reason, I just couldn't. I don't know what the fuck happened to me while I was watching Twins Peak. I like, I couldn't put anything together. I was like, I don't get what the fuck is going on. I'm watching it, but I don't know what the hell's going on. And I'm usually not that confused when it comes to shit like that. And don't judge them, that's their process. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's fucking weird. We got a whole ass table and nobody uses it. Only in the morning. There you are! What the fuck happened to you? You just disappeared for a whole month. Jesus! Well, Rize is not available, but Kanji is, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna go focus on kanji, you know? Oh, before I do that, let me... I gotta keep remembering. Do the shit for the fox. Talk to this damn guy. Hello there. The man's covered in scratches. The red goldfish you gave me, thanks to that, the kittens were all over me. Oh, those, ki those kitty witties were so cute. The feeling of their soft fur is great. I almost want to get married. Oh, uh, well, what? Wait, what? I almost want to get married more for the cat than Miyoko san. You fucking weirdo. You accomplished the request. There you go. Now all we gotta do is wait for a rainy day. Hand that in. The big table is used for breakfast, the small table is used for dinner and a discussion. <laughs> it's just weird, man. It's like, choose one or the other. It's not even a table, it's like, I mean, uh, technically it is a table, I guess, you know, it's a coffee table, but still, it's like, it's like all the food on there, you got no fucking space, it's like, you got all that space up there on the actual table. Come on, man. <laughs> End of discussion. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, head back to the school. I'm gonna go hang out with Kanji. I'm trying to think, am I going to be using kanji, like, more after this? I mean, if it was my, you know, if I wasn't, you know, streaming it, like, I probably would just only choose four people and just stick with that just for the sake of getting the game over with. Yeah. Class sucked today, as always. Oh, yeah, how's she doing? The girl, I mean. Marie? Mary? Whatever it is. Nah, I ain't worried about her or nothing. She just seems like someone you can't leave on her own. Hey, don't get the wrong idea. I ain't interested in a brat like her, okay? Jesus, he ain't gotta, he ain't gotta go that far. <laughs> well, tell her I said hi, and that she ought to come along the next time we get together. Yo. Hey, you, Senpai. You got some time? Dude, 
I like I glanced over at the name of the persona that we have. What what's it called? Thoth? Thoth, Thoth or whatever the fuck? And I read it as thought. <laughs> so you got thought on your team, so it's okay. Yeah. All right, you came here with Kanji's request. Man, I'm starving for some Chinese. But if I eat and then go home, I can't finish mom's food. She serves so much. I think I have five brothers. She's trying to make my stomach burst. I love how that man's face just like went through the fucking curtains. It didn't even like move. He just, just morphed through it. <laughs> Morph is not the right word. I don't. I don't know, he Danny Phantom his way through that shit. Aren't you Kanji Ch uh, Wow, I fucked that up. Aren't you Kanji- Damn it, I can't speak. Aren't you Kanji Tatsumi? What are you doing here? Uh, eating food? Can't you tell? Hey, you're a cop. What do you mean what I'm doing? Just what I said. There's been quite a commotion around here lately. Well, maybe if you did your job, things get quieter, huh? Oh, shit. You need to fix that attitude. Oh well, just don't pull anything, got it? I didn't... I'm gonna eat somewhere else. The fuck you come here starting problems? <laughs> Asshole. The cops always like that. So as, as soon as they spot me, it's what are you doing? You look suspicious. And a lot of bullshit like that. Man, I'm used to it. Sorry for getting you mixed up in this, senpai. I really am just a troublemaker for you. Yeah, Mom. She's always apologizing for me. She's been sprouting more and more white hairs. Huh. You just need to change a bit, right? Yeah. What What the hell? Oh my god. F feel a... What? <laughs> what is that word? My mind doesn't work. What? F Filali? What the hell? <laughs> Kanji, you're giving me a fucking stroke right now. Alright, I'm just gonna skip that. I'm not even gonna try, dude. So I thought... <laughs> that That's a weird word. I'm gonna use this power I got to make this town peaceful. I've been causing nothing but trouble, but now I can finally return the flavor. So let's get to it, senpai. Well, his, Eng his English VA. What do you mean? Wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, Troy Baker. A.K.A. Mr. Fucking... <laughs> Mr. Fucking, uh... Shit. NFTs? Fucking idiot. Fucking idiot, Troy. That... How do you... How do you... How do you go from being such a good guy to instantly just being a sellout like that? He's like, guys, NFTs are good. Well, don't take my word for it. I'm just trying to entertain people. It's like, the moment when someone says some shit like that, it's like, oh, you're not a good person, are you? <laughs> I'm just trying to entertain people. I'm just an entertainer. <laughs> Fucking, come on, man. You feel you understand Kanji even more. Troy Baker is talented, though. My favorite VA is, uh, is Yuri Lowenthal. I like Yuri Lowenthal. Was it a joke or was he serious? Oh no, he was serious. He was 100 serious about that. Like, he got into arguments with people over it. And then I guess the backlash was too big that he fucking, like, after what, like, a week or two weeks, he, like, started to backpedal it. And, like, his backpedal was like, well, I'm just an entertainer, so, I mean... I didn't mean to hurt anybody or offend anybody. I'm just an entertainer. Like he he pulled a David Cage. That's literally what he did. I just tried to make tried to make the emotions. <laughs> David Cage slash Tommy Wiseau out here. Dizzy boost. Eh, I don't need it. It's not that important to me. Like I don't like I don't hate Troy Baker, right? I mean, sometimes you gotta respect the hustle, I guess. But it was just like it was like it's a bad take, man. That's a bad take, and you wanted to die on that hill for a while. <laughs> like Jesus. Huh? You ordered something, Con 
Conchon? I told you not to call me Conchon, and I did order liver leek, liver leek, what the fuck? Liver leek stir fry and pot stickers. I'm gonna tear your, I'm gonna tear your store apart so fast you won't have time to f file for insurance. Jesus. Oh, uh, well. I'm gonna tear it apart and rebuild it twice as good. I'm gonna renovate your ass. <laughs> Sounds good to me. All right, let's go. <laughs> gonna renovate your ass. <laughs> That's one of my favorite fuck. I wish that was voiced, if anything. Oh, welcome back. We went shopping today. That's great, but I don't have time for it, Nanako. Sadly. Um, is there anything for me to do at night right now? No. No, 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 no. I mean, I can try and go talk to people, but whatever, right? I'm just gonna get my... I'm just gonna get my, uh, courage up. You see the text message from Yukiko. You like scary movies? Oh, fuck yeah, I do. See, that's why I, that, I can mess with Yukiko. You know what? She might be my favorite. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. The more, the more I hang out with Yukiko, the more I'm like, you're not really that bad, honestly. <laughs> horror movies are great. You need somebody to sit down and watch horror movies with. They're amazing. As long as they don't get too crazy about it, you know? You don't need one of those fucking weirdos. You begin reading The Lovely Man. Every chapter begins, all men have, this, have the great spirit of masculinity within themselves. The spirit of true manhood transcends space and time, and all people of all cultures and genders feel its call. You feel more like a real man than ever before. Since you finish hyper speed reading, you can finish the shit in one night. I'm still neutral, by the way. True neutral out here. I can't pick sides. Senpai. Am I free today? I'll think about it, Kanji. That's so. It is so. Huh? Leave me alone, Ko. I don't care about how fucking depressed you are, man. Boo-hoo, my family gave me a house to live by myself, and I can do whatever I want now. Boo-hoo, they don't check on me no more. Boo-hoo, they give me an allowance that's basically, like, a short salary. <laughs> like, Jesus. Like, I get he's an orphan and all that shit, but it's like... I, like, I get where he's coming from, but it's like, my god, you got a lot of good things going for you right now, honestly. Kanji, let's hang out, buddy. Yo. For some reason, Rize doesn't want to show up to school. Yeah. Ma says she wanted to meet you. Oh, that's nice. Came to Tatsumi Textiles. Senpai. Gotta warn you, there's nothing fun here. Hey, Ma, I'm home. Huh? She ain't here. What's she doing leaving the store open? Kachan, there you are. Your mother's in the hospital. The hell? The hospital? Oh my god, dude. What happened to your hairline? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That man. That man hair is all the way back there. It's kind of scary, actually. Get a hold of yourself, Kanji. Yes, sir. You're damn right. I only heard from a customer, but she's at Inaba Municipal Hospital. Hurry and go. Yeah. Yes, sir. Mama's in the hospital. Inaba Municipal. Uh, municipal. Fuck. I just said the word and I can't say it no more. Damn it. Ma. You all right? You were taken to the hospital. Something happened to you? Goodness, you look pale. Never mind me, what about you? 
Huh? You okay? I wasn't taken to the hospital. I took someone. Huh? The poor thing got hit by a bicycle right in front of our shop. What the fuck? Wait, what? How? He hit his head so- wait, what? Wait. I'm, I'm sorry, wait, what? <laughs> got hit by a bicycle. He hit his head so I had a doctor examine him. How the fuck did that happen? He said there's no damage, thank goodness. Someone just hit and run him? The one who hit him was a boy from your school. When I saw the poor child fall, he ran away. Why don't you find him and give him a little scolding? Okay. Okay, Edina. Fucking whatever. She out here on some JoJo Part 2 shit right now. <laughs> talking about... Talking about Joseph. Why don't you teach him some manners? <laughs> you got no idea how I felt. <laughs> I'm fine. Your mother isn't kicking the bucket that easily. It's not like you gotta worry over such a little thing. Shut up, you old cow. You don't understand me, Mom. I'm sad. Sorry. Sorry. Looks like it was no big deal. Eh. I don't blame you, man. Hmm. Yeah, if it's not just me, then I guess it's okay. Kanji still looks embarrassed. I thought I faced a lot of my bad parts back there. But not everything's changed just like that, huh? Oh, uh, I'm sorry for dragging you around. If I'd been myself, I might have been even more scared. <laughs> Hope I can repay you the favor. Seems you were able to support Kanji. You sense his trust in you. That's only rank three. <laughs> rank three. Oh man, when it's not like rank five and up, it feels like you've literally done nothing. I'ma go home. That boy. That boy right there. We were both going home. He didn't have to run away like that. Oh, you're Yukun. You came to the store with Yuki-chan, right? I've been hearing a lot about you from Kanji. Senpai this and Senpai that. He must really like you. I'm sorry to I'm sorry to have made you both come all the way here. He hates hospitals, you see. His father, my husband, died here. Kanji happened to be somewhere else when he collapsed. So I think he was scared today. <laughs> but it's good to see you. He's always been in trouble getting along wow shit. I had a hard time doing that. He's always had trouble getting along. He's always had trouble getting along with people. He didn't have any friends like you before. It's because of his hobbies? Oh, he told you. He would always rather play house instead of catch, or go to home ec instead of PE. So he never had any male friends, but the girls didn't, ex didn't accept them either. After a while, he started getting into fights every day and bleaching his hair. I was worried about him, but lately he seems to be having fun. Please take care of him. You feel uh, you understand Kanji a little bit more. Parted ways with his mother and went home. Is mom wearing yukatas every day? Welcome back. That's gotta be not sustainable. <laughs> I can tutor today, but who cares? I'm gonna talk to Dojima. What's hey. up? It won't become closer. Well, I got no choice but to hang out with Dojima, so. This big ass table. Just saying. All that space not being utilized. Hi, Nanako. Bye, Nanako. All right. Who wants to hang out with me today? I got some loud ass rain going on outside. That shit is like attacking my window. Hey, Rize is available. That's cool. Are you gonna level up? Oh, senpai. 
it's not ready to advance. Oh, shit. I mean, what other choice do I have, really? Oh, actually, before I forget, all that grinding I did, how much money did I make? Oh, 98,000? God, I almost got half a million on me. Oh, shit. Look at all that. Uh-huh. Yeah-huh. Uh-huh. Keep it coming. There you go. Oh, now we're on to armors. Alright. Yep. Oh, accessories? Alright, cool. I'm fucking rich. Hey, oh, Rize. You feel your relationship with Rize isn't ready to advance yet? Will you spend the day with Rize? Yes, uh -huh. I will. When does Nato get back? Welcome back. All right, Dojima's not here. How are my um? How are my stats looking? My social stats. There we go. Oh shit. Just need some courage and some diligence. Get that courage up. Need it for now, Tail. Fuck. My bad. <laughs> Every chapter begins with all men have the great spirits of. Okay, yeah. What is true manhood? The amazing con set, set out on a journey to find the. the pel. what the fuck? The peltonic? Platonic? I'm illiterate. The platonic ideal of masculinity. You feel more like a real man than ever before. I feel like a fucking idiot right now. Every time I stream, there's like a... There's like a wash... A wash, fucking... That's not even the right descriptor to use. There's like a wave... Of like, anxiety... That comes off of me. I'm taking a drink of my coffee now. It's gonna make my lips more dry. Smart idea, right? I guess I'll talk about the history of mathematics in Japan then. Japan developed its own mathematics called was Wasong. Wasong? Wasong. Croissant? That originally crossed over from China. Wasong was the Edo period uh, developed. Wait, what? Shit. By the Edo period, developed so much that they could calculate 41 digits of pi. At the height of Wasong's popularity in the Edo period, in the Edo period, a book came out titled Math Girl. I guess that must have been math nerdettes back then too. But it's just, it was just a drill book written by a girl. I was a bit of a nerdette back in my youth too. I'm just a boring housewife now. Time, to, time is cruel. Even Wasan has disappeared. Trying to make money the right way feels so stupid. Anyways, let's move on to the to the word book. Oh look, more practice problems. You listen to the lecture intently. Streaming is fun. Streaming is nerve-wracking. Sometimes I gotta hype myself up before a stream. I lay in my bed and I go, I gotta stream in five minutes or something. Maybe I can maybe I can just go to sleep and forget about it. Thanks for the follow, by the way. I can't see the name clearly. Because of the background. But thank you for the follow. I saw it, I noticed it. I noticed you. <laughs> Is my fucking I didn't even hear the goddamn alert. Did you guys hear the follow alert, by the way? Was that low for you? Because I didn't hear it. But I think that's mainly because I have to lower the audio on my side of things. Because, holy shit, this game is super loud with headphones on. The Mega Man music? Yep. Okay, so you heard it. Cool. <laughs> as long as it wasn't, like, too crazy or too low. You know? I wanna push it. Wait, what? You wanna push it? It's so tempting, but I can't. I'm an idol. What are you talking about? Senpai? Were you listening? Are you free today? What are you- wait, what? What are you talking about? Talking about this 
Is that a button? What? Oh, sent. What? You just confused the shit out of me, Rize. She's like, I want to push it. So, is it a button? Because I thought it was just kind of like a, you know how like some, uh, some like containers for fire extinguishers have just like a fucking red light around it. I thought it was just one of those. Uh -huh. It's a button. So she just she just stands there every day, every day. What the fuck is wrong with me? Every day and just stares at the goddamn button and just goes, one of these days. <laughs> Rizzi invited you to go shopping with her. Today we're buying for you. Oh, thank you. But but I didn't want to spend money. <laughs> I'll put together the best outfit for you, so be prepared. I already checked out most of the stores. First is over there. Oh. That ad. I see. So Konami is the new poster girl. I'm surprised Atlas actually followed up on Konami, by the way. Something that was just the name in Persona 4. And then later down the road, they're like, and here's Konami Mashita. Oh, uh, the store sign has a girl who was at the agency with me. Konami Mashita. She, she was my junior. She was cute, so I figured she would sell. Yeah, she's cute, huh? Okay. <laughs> I don't know what to say here, Rize. What do you want me to say? Jealous? That's good, isn't it? <laughs> huh? Oh, yeah. If some other girl takes off, I'm sure the agency will leave me alone. Who's they smiling? You're smiling, but I didn't get any fucking music notes from you. You hear a conversation between some teenagers. Man, Konami... Konami... Oh, shit. Konami is so cute. It's crazy that she's still in middle school. I want this conversation to end right here now. I like how she's not so fake like Rizet. Whoa! Yeah, Konami's like plain and honest. So what you're telling me is that she's a basic bitch. Got it. <laughs> Let me guess. She likes The Office? Her favorite hobby is traveling? Hey guys, listen. Listen. I'm gonna say it loud. I'm gonna say it clear. I'm not gonna repeat myself here. Traveling is not a fucking hobby. That's right, I said it. Somewhere between a little sister and the girl next door. Like the kind of girl you want to protect. <laughs> Same thing with bringing back her manager in both arena and dancing. Oh, you mean in no way? Man, speaking of managers, fuck, I forgot the dude's name from dancing all night, but like... But the fucking, the very flamboyant guy. The dude who like, uh... The dance instructor, I think he was a dance instructor. That, like, teaches Nanako how to dance. I fucking love that dude. He's, like, one of my favorite characters in that game. Even though he's only in there for, like, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I'm fake. That's the role I play. It was all an act. Everything. Hey, all that stuff about Konami's an act, too. Let's go home, senpai. I don't want to be here. Simagawa floodplain. Rize dragged you back. Senpai, are you happy right now? Do you like being with me like this? The way we are now? You like having such a cute underclassman, right? I'm an ex idol after all. I'm miserable. Eh, <laughs> uh, that part doesn't matter. Yeah, of course. What am I saying? You see me as Rize, huh? The real me. Rize seems anxious for some reason. I'm sorry, Senpai. Sorry, I was just irritated. I dragged you all the way out to Okina, then we just came back without doing anything. I'm really sorry. Oh, big bro! And Rize chan! Why'd you stop the voice line? Oh, Nanako-chan, you going home? Yeah! Oh, I know. Hey, Nanako-chan, um, well, 
Do you know who Konami Mashita is? Konami Mashita? Oh, you mean Konami? Yeah, I know her. Some of my friends like her. I tell them Rize chan's way better. You do? <laughs> Thanks. But I'm totally different from how I am on TV. You must be disappointed. Nope. I like you. Huh? Oh, thanks. But that means you like the me over here, right? The me? Aren't you just Rize-chan? I like you, that's all. Um... Damn. Damn, hit you real hard with that. Fucking... That natural 20 on that fucking innocence check. <laughs> thanks, Nanaka-chan. I like you too. Yay! And I, Narukami kun, like the both of you. Don't forget about me, I'm here too. In the background. Oh, the show's about to start. I'm gonna go home now. <sighs> You're just Rize chan, huh? You know, I wanna say it's weird to see that that uh that Nanako just kind of, she's, what's she, like, nine, eight, something like that? And she just walks around the town by herself? It's a little weird, but at the same time, it's like, well, Dojima's always away, so, you know, but at the same time... I don't know, it's a, it's a weird gray area. What was I thinking, asking all that to not, asking all that to Nanako-chan? She goes to Junez by herself, too, now that I think about it. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> I, I quit so I wouldn't have to think about stuff like this. I have no regrets about showbiz. I wouldn't go back to it. Why would I sacrifice my real self? I just want to become a Rize who need, who's needed by the ones who see the real me. Like you, senpai. That's the me I want to be. It's the truth. You can sense Rize's passionate will. I feel that you understand Rize even more. That's rank 7. She will periodically age you during battle. Rize will periodically- oh, well, yeah, just said that. She'll give you buffs and shit. I got a little upset today when I heard those kids talk about Konami. I'm sure I'll, I'm sure I'll forget it by tomorrow. Rize looks helpless. Just stroll on up. Stop it, senpai. <laughs> oh, maybe I'm in the mood to be close to you right now. I'm sorry for being so selfish today. When I was working, I met lots of people, but at the cost of free time to meet people outside. Well, 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 well. Did I read that right? <laughs> When I was working, I met lots of people, but at the cost of free time to meet people outside of work. Is there supposed to be like a comma there or something? It's like, it's weirdly worded. I have no free time at all. So when I was alone, I was truly alone. Whatever I was thinking about, I had to keep it to myself. So, right now, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't want to be alone. Stay with me. Just a little longer. I'll see you later, senpai. Spend some time with Rize until you went back home. That rain outside my window was fucking loud and distracting as fuck. Welcome back. Alright, I can work as a tutor tonight. I'm gonna read a book instead. I don't even think I'll be able to show off fucking Yoshitsune this in this playthrough at all. That's like the last thing I have to do in my other save file is like I'm trying to complete the compendium. Just so I can show off the personas and the secret personas. Like Alice. You begin reading Man of History. All men have great spirit, blah 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 blah. The amazing con learns to accept life and death through the through the rigorous application of manhood. You feel more like a real man than ever before. I finished three books. You have the day off from school. 
waiting for Nato to recover. Well, it's gonna rain like the next day, so maybe. Oh no, it has to rain like at least like two days in a row, right? Damn. Hey, I. How's it going? I wanna go shopping. Mm. I wish I could. I. I wish. You don't know how bad I want to. I like I. I's cool to me. I's a cool girl. All right. Head to town. Who wants to hang out with me besides I? Rize. How you feeling, Rize? All right, you're out here. Yeah, I'm kind of focusing, Rize. Oh, senpai. Because I just want to um. I just want her to get on par with both uh, Chie and Yukiko, right now. So that when the options come up to do things, like she doesn't get left behind. You're back. So I'm gonna focus her, and then when Naoto's ready, I'm gonna focus Naoto. Talk to me, hey. Ojima. What we got going on here? Nothing. Uh. A whole lot of nothing. Spend some time with Ojima. Oh, it is gonna rain the next day, too. Oh, shit. Okay. Alright. Time to go talk to that damn fox, then. What's the next... Is the next quest the wallet? I think it might be the one with the wallet. Maybe. Hang out with me, fox. What rank are we at? Are we at eight? We're at eight. Okay, cool. So we got two more to do. And the next one you want me to do? Oh wait, you don't give it to me on the same day. I gotta go back the next day. All right, cool. Nice to know that I stood outside in the rain all day with a goddamn fox. Didn't even put the You're umbrella back. over its head. Nautico, I wish I can use hey. the food to cook, but I can't. Uh. I gotta talk to your dad. The Jima is staring intently at something. It looks like data about cars. Data, data, whatever. Sorry to bother you. Sorry, but my hands are full here. <laughs> buying a new car? That's fucked up. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. Just gonna be like, buying a new car? Want some coffee, man? Huh. That's my job. Don't worry about it. Oh yeah, I was thinking about this when talking talking with Nanako just now, but I feel like she's changed a bit. I don't know how to put it, but she's stronger. I feel like I'm being left behind. Ever since you came, this house has become well homely. The house isn't just a box. It's a place for a family to live together. I know, right? It's almost like a table isn't just a shelf. It's a place where you eat your fucking breakfast and dinner. Laughing, crying, fighting, spending most of your lives together. A warm place. I forgot what it was like. I wanted to get that, I wanted to get that back more than anything. And yet, I feel like I've been dodging it this whole time. Do you understand why? Cause you're a bitch! Ah! Stupid manly books! Damn it. Cause of Nanako? Mm -hmm. That's right. I never thought of her feelings. I've been in the same place, but I've been in the same place. We've been in the same place, weren't connected. But we weren't connected. My mind, I'm losing it. <laughs> you brought the two of us together. The rest is my problem. 
Where do I draw the line with this? You feel Dojima's quiet, quiet determination. Quiet determination. Oh, we're at rank 8? Shit. Ah, screw it. I'm drinking tonight. You, you're drinking with me. Alcohol free, of course. You fucking buzzkill. You fucking narc! <laughs> Said to a policeman. You pass out before me and you're under arrest, got it? Wouldn't be the first time I was drunk. <laughs> you don't know what happened at fucking Tetsumi Port Island. Oh, senpai! Hey, Rize. She forced herself under your umbrella. Gee... Sheesh, that's wind. I just bought a new umbrella and, it all, and it's already broken. Well, then it's... Then your umbrella is fucking dog shit, man. But I guess there was a silver lining. Hey, senpai, if you don't huddle in a little closer, your shoulder will get wet. Damn. Damn, Rize, you dangerous. <laughs> you playing a dangerous game here, girl. I'll be fine. You don't think people will talk? Huh? So what if they do? Is there a problem? I don't mind if rumors get started, as long as they're about you and me. Jesus. Ah, this humidity is ruining my hair. This take God damn it, Rain! So fucking loud! <laughs> started attacking my window! He's taken some abuse from all the magazine photo shoots I've been in, so it's a little fragile. Hey, it's Kanji. Yo. What's up, Kanji? Man, hanging out with Rize has got me thinking about Persona 4 dancing all night, and it's like... How does one go about doing a playthrough of that game? Cause it's, most, it's mostly a, a fucking visual novel, right? And the rest is just music. <laughs> you know? How does someone do a Let's Play of that? I guess maybe the same way people do Let's Plays of Guitar Hero. I've never, I've never seen like a Guitar Hero Let's Play though, so... I know they exist, I've just never seen it. <laughs> so Kanji's available. That's good. Oh! Every time. Every time I forget. Every time I go, okay, heading towards my social link, and then I'm like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Gotta go hang out with the fox. The fox bought you an Emma with a wish written on it. Let's see. My wallet's gone. Okay, so this is an easy one. Nice. I think you can do this in one day, honestly. I think we can do this right now. So we head on down to the floodplains. Walk on over here. Talk to this lady. Ah, I'm so hungry. The trash can's empty today, too. I'm done for. I'm so hungry. I'm seeing... I'm seeing illusions. Aren't you handsome? Oh, I'm sorry. You're actually handsome. Damn. I lost my wallet the other day. I can't find it anyway. Uh, anyways. Anywheres. Wheres? Fuck. <laughs> my entire fortune, even my seal, it was all in there. That sounds like a stupid move. Ever heard of a bank lady? How unlucky. My luck has left me. I really wish I had food. How my stomach growls. I'm in another haiku. The woman smiles and stares off into the distance. Perhaps she's the one who wrote the Emmett request. Alright. So you talk to her. Head on down to the riverbank. 
And where is it? It's near the sign. Something's on the ground. A wallet. A round wallet. There's no reason to fast travel. I just got a little lazy there. Run on back to her. That's it. That thick, fat wallet. Some people have said prosperity is fleeting. It is very true. I should be happy right now, but I am dismayed. <laughs> Thank you for your hard work, but sadly, this wallet isn't mine. Get that wallet away from me. I'm fighting the urge to take it with all my will. If I take the money and eat, my conscience will just drive me crazy. It seems the wallet you found at Simagawa isn't the woman's. It's no use. I give up. In order to feed my hungry kid brother, I'm gonna work in the city. And wait, you got a wait? What? You got a brother? <laughs> You, you got a little brother you got to take care of, and you don't use a bank? Okay. In the turbulent, not, in the turbulent neon sea, I wander the dangerous streets. Tears and memories within my, what's in my pulsating heart. I must now set sail. I'm sadly voyage, a uh, voyage? <laughs> I'll sadly voyage afar. A oh, wind, see me off nobly. So long, Inaba. I love you so. The woman has completely given up. You wish you could find it for her. Perhaps looking in another location will prove fruitful, uh, fruitful. Maybe I dropped it when I went to check out the field. That Scrooge, he could have he could have let me have one. Isn't that lamb part of the shrine anyways? Cool. So I guess we just hold on to this wallet. I don't know if it's possible to do anything with that wallet. I don't even know if it stays in your inventory. I think I think I think you just literally just throws it away. He just goes, oh, well, it's not your wallet. I don't care no more. Drop it on the ground. Run over here. Here we go. Something on the ground. It's a wallet. A square wallet. Here you go, lady. You got your damn wallet. <laughs> I wasn't able to leave for the city. I was too worried about leaving my brother. Inaba City is far from being peaceful. What was Inaba? I guess I'll find a side job here. If only I had my wallet. That in your hand. That 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 today, Junior. That's my wallet. You found it for me. Here you go. She frantically checked inside. This is it! My precious wallet! My seal! My contract! Indeed! They're all here! Hooray! Now I can go back to buying up plots of land! The land of others. If I want it, it's my land. Happens in a flash. That is the law of the world. My world. My way. I'm short. I'm short on one syllable. Maybe I've lost my knack for... For Tanka? Tank, tanka? Tanka? Tonk? I don't fucking know, man. I'll just stick to composing haiku. Thank you so much. Oh yeah, I need to go say thanks to the shrine too. You accomplish the request. You should report back to the fox. Cool. Now that that's out the way. Um, what the hell was I doing? Oh yeah, Kanji. Gotta go hang out with Kanji. Oh, Kanji! Kanji Ki! The hill overlooking town. Kanji took you here. <laughs> I've always liked this place. Being able to see my house and school and everything from here, it makes me feel small. Uh, when you met Ma at the hospital, did she say anything about me? Hmm. Lenny. That's so. Uh... That's what I thought. Well, you already know everything about me. I got nothing to hide. Wish I could quit being afraid of hospitals. I gotta get stronger. Huh? That kid. He was with Ma at the hospital.
Yo, kid. What you doing here by yourself? Oh, um... Nothing. Then how come you look like you're gonna cry? I lost the doll. I lost the knit rabbit doll that Sana-chan let me borrow. Taka-kun said it was girly and stomped on it. Who the fuck is this Taka-kun character? I fucking beat his ass. It got all dirty and he said, if you're a man, then throw it away. I threw the doll into the river and it got washed away. What should I do? I have to get it back for Sonachan. She liked that bunny, and I... So, why are you here? Run away? You dumb kid. <laughs> Start yelling at him. Come on, don't just stand there. Senpai. So, uh, I'm gonna go. Violence isn't the answer, Kanji. I'll go with you. The hell? Really? Kanji's looking in the river. I'll help. Just shut up. Stay where you are so you don't get in the way. Senpai, make sure he doesn't come in after me. Oh, this is cold. Despite his efforts, Kanji was unable to find the bunny doll. I'm sorry. I'm going to apologize to Sana-chan. Even if she's mad, I'll say I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, well, if you do find the rabbit, make sure you give it to her. Yo, hold up. What kind of bunny was it? Spit it. Just tell me. Alright, I got it. You apologize to this Sanachan. You're the one who threw it away. It might not be the same, but I'll get you a new one. So let's go with that. Mister? We call him Mister. Jeez. I'm still in high school. This is the prime of my youth. Do I really look that old? Maybe it's the eyebrows. Or maybe it's the fucking widow's peak you have at the age of 15. I mean, out here being the poster boy for fucking McDonald's. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> Let's see. You gonna give him a new one? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so you heard me, huh? It was like I understood how he felt. Wanting to be accepted, afraid of being left out, doing stuff that you shouldn't. Then talking to the one person you shouldn't make cry and making them brawl. So, you know, I thought maybe I could help him. Was I going too easy on him? Kanji has an embarrassed smile on his face. I feel you understand Kanji a bit more. Kanji's growth has affected his persona. Masukanda. I don't care. <laughs> Get that shit out of my face. Hmm? I feel like sneezing, but it won't come out. Man, this sucks. Looks like I'm gonna catch a cold. I better head home. Later. <laughs> Anime characters. Get beat the fuck up all the time, deal with the internal bleeding, spitting up blood, but god forbid you fucking go out in the rain for more than two seconds, you'll catch a cold and you'll fucking die out there. You can tutor for the night, that's great, that's really good, that's great, that's fun, that's amazing, that's cool. What books do I have? Realize I haven't bought anything. Is there anything worth buying? Watch the Midnight Chat, what? I can do that? Why would I do that? Hmm. Okay. And wasabi jelly? Diet food. I'm trying to think, am I gonna use kanji later? Trying to think for like the future uh, dungeons. Who do I want to take with me? And 
Uh, nah, nah. Uh, maybe. Nah, I'll take the dive food. Alright. Um, books. What do I got for me? Let's see, knowledge, expression. Nothing for courage, so. That's not really gonna help me. See you later, Nanako. I'm gonna go actually work a job for once. Who are you? Hi, I applied back in like April. It's September now. You guys gave me the job. Oh shit, never mind. I thought I can go to the hospital. God damn it. Hey, Dachi. Let's see. This is Chinese Dino Aya, dealing with the tofu, extra hot, courage. That's what I'm looking for. You ate the Mobu Tofu combo. Your forehead begins to sweat from the furiously powerful spices. You can no longer feel your tongue. Despite your fear, you continue to eat with shaking hands until the entire dish is completely consumed. Courage has increased. Ah, uh, yeah, thank you very much. 800 yen, please. No problem. Oh, shit. Who is this, Kanji? Hey, Kanji. I'll decide later. Rize? Oh, I thought someone else was going to walk up to me. And it turned out that she was actually a robot! <laughs> Mr. Krabs is... a robot. That's important. I recommend that you memorize this context. Oh man, I'm so hungry. Did you all eat? I had a big meal, but I'm still hungry. I should have eaten an apple for dessert. No, two. No, three! While we're on the subject of apples, what part of the human body has the apple in it? Anybody knows? Okay, Hanamura. Give me the wild... Give me a wild guess. You might surprise yourself. Huh? I don't want to guess. Just tell me. Hey, you. You know the answer? It's the throat. Good for you, Hanamura. The Adam's apple, or let let go. Oh, fucking god damn it. Whatever, man. That that thingy in your throat is part of the human throat. Isn't that a funny name? The term comes from the biblical story of Adam, and that he got a piece of the infamous apple stuck in his throat. What a wimp. Oh, stupid Adam! What a fucking loser! Uh, goddamn snake came down and said, Hey man, you want this apple? You were like, yeah, sure, why not? Oh, what a little bitch! God said, get the fuck out of here, dude! You wasn't supposed to eat that! Oh, thanks, you. <laughs> Gotta help. Oh, shit. Expression increase, that's cool. Alright. Rize, are you available, please, for fuck's sake? No, of course not. Rize's like never available. She never wants to talk to me. She hates me. She hates my guts. Just hang out, Kanji. Yeah. He's already at like what, rank four? We're doing rank five now? The hell of a looking town. Seems Kanji called the boy here. Here's the stuff I promised you. No complaining, okay? Kanji handed... Kanji? The fuck? Kanji handed the boy what appears to be a bunny doll. It's complete with clothes, a ribbon, a hat, and an umbrella. It's very elaborate. Whoa. This is incredible. Where'd you buy it? What the fuck? There's like a... Is that a mosquito in my room? No, it's too small to be a mosquito. I don't know what the hell that is. I'll kill it later. Huh? Who cares? But I want one too. Oh uh, well, I got one for you. There you go. How'd you hand the boy another bunny? It's complete with clothes, shoes, a cap, and a soccer ball. It's very elaborate. For me? Thanks. But where'd you buy it? Uh... 
The old man made it here. What are you telling him for? You made this? Yeah, I got a problem with that. If you think it's creepy, then give it... Wow, you're so cool. Hey, can you make me something else? Mom loves this kind of stuff. Uh, sure. You promised. I'm gonna give this to Sanachan. Thanks, mister. I'm not... I'm not that old, damn it. <laughs> he said I'm cool. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. Yeah, but it's not... It's not like sewing... Wait, what? Yeah, but it's not like sewing's good for anything. But you know, ain't a bad feeling. Thanks. Oh. I was nothing. Kanji, with his embarrassed smile, looks more mature than usual. You feel your relationship with Kanji has grown yet deeper. Good job, Kanji. Halfway there. This is a great place, huh? The wind's different up here. Never noticed it before. Later. We talked with Kanji for a while and started back home. Welcome back. Oh yeah, a package came for you. My diet food! What the fuck does diet food do anyways? Diet food. Oh, by the way, uh, when I was doing the grinding for the characters, uh, I got a Junez lunch from Yosuke. Tater, what, what the hell? I think I got this from Chie, maybe. Yukiko gave me a, some lunch. Oh no, here's what I got for Chie. I got Chie's muffin. I think I got this from, uh... Yeah, I got this from Teddy. Diet food. Low calorie. 50 HP for an ally. Eh, okay, I guess. I mean... That's fine. They give you eight of them, so it's not too bad, I guess. Um... Let's see what... What the diner has for us tonight. And if it's not Courage, which it probably won't be, then I'm just gonna head on to the fucking... to the hospital. Hey, GA! This is for diligence. I don't need it. Alright. Time to work at that hospital. God damn it. Inaba any Inaba Municipal Hospital hallway. You busily cleaned the dark, silent hallways. You thought you heard something from down the hall. You decided to pretend not to hear it and continue cleaning. What do you want? If your shit's if, if your shit's wow if your shift's over, go then go home. You can hear bits and pieces of the conversation between the doctor and the nurse. After patrolling the empty room. <laughs> oh, were you listening? Oh, you're cute. You're the student who started working here today, right? Yes. I'll show you something fun the next time you're here. I need an adult. I'll see you again. Finished your job and went home. Give me hella Kashiwagi vibes right now. <laughs> Damn it, Kanji! Where the fuck were you when when I was trying to max out everyone's social links? Kanji was another one that was giving me a hard time. Now he's fucking everywhere. All right. God damn it, Rize, where the fuck are you? Oh, 
Yeah. Yeah. Simagawa Riverbank. I can't get this place out of my head. I keep wondering if the rabbit the kid toss out here might wash up the shore around here. If he finds it now, he'll just feel bad. No, that's uh, that's not fuck, I can't even read. Not that I'm not that I'm waiting fuck. <laughs> not that I'm waiting in today or anything. Hey mister. There you are. Sonic his name is Dollboy. Okay. Sonichon was really happy. I've been looking for you ever since. Look, kid, quit calling. <sighs> Forget it. Can you make some more, mister? My mom really wants one. Sonichon's mom's one. Sonichon's mom does too. They say they all, they'll all pay you. Huh? Pay me? I don't need that. It ain't like I'm a pro at this. Kanji, it's called Etsy. Fucking come on, man. Give it the program. My mom wants a cat, and Sana Moms wants a dog. And my teacher wants a pink alligator. Hey, pink alligator. Only, only true Persona fans will know the significance of the pink alligator. Persona 5 fans will never understand. Ugh. The pink alligator? Oh, like the one in that storybook. Fine, then. I'll get around to it sometime. Yeah, thank you. Remember you promised. <sighs> Strange situation I got myself into, ain't it? Eh. It's good for you. Good? I don't really know. Kanji's tilting his head. When I was in elementary school, I fixed the classmate's bag this one time. Thinking back, I guess I liked her. I only did it to make her happy, but the next day all the girls were making fun of her. She cried. I didn't understand why, but, you know, I thought I'd done something wrong. So I never thought I'd be thanked for doing this stuff. It feels kind of good. <laughs> Hearing thank you. I like it. Kanji's laughing sheepishly. You feel you understand Kanji even better. Oh my god, I'm only at rank 6. Uh, feels like I've been doing this forever. Power charge. See, that's worth it. Get rid of Rukakaja. I don't need it right now. Oh well, got a jet. I have to go to Okina Station. To the, uh, fabric shop. I'm out of materials, so... Later. You watch Kanji go and walk home. More like run home. That man took on full sprint. You're back. Dojima, talk to me. Hey! It won't become any closer. Why does it take uh, forever to hang out with you, Dojima? God damn it, we live together, man. It's a rainy day. You know what that means. Gotta go into town. Oh wait, it's not raining right now. Shit, it's only cloudy. Damn it. Thought it was raining. If it was raining, then, uh, you know. Hand in the stuff for the fox. Reze! Fucking finally, man. Oh, senpai. Yes, I am free. I know you're not ready to advance because you've uh -huh. been avoiding me. <gasps> I just realized I'm not carrying a lover's persona. Fuck! <laughs> Damn it! No wonder why. Oh, I'm an idiot. I wonder why it's taking forever for her to do anything with me. I've been talking to her for, for a fucking while without a goddamn lover's persona. 
the hell am I doing? Also, I gotta run in here and see if Marie has another poem for us. Ah, I've noticed that you register a large number of personas. It is a result of your hard work and, and your connections. Please, take this small gift from me. As long as you have this, I will reduce the cost of so many personas for your compendium. Alright, cool. I will give you another gift like this if you continue to add personas to the compendium. Well then, what's the, uh... 25? Okay, cool. She gives you one for 25, then, then 50, then 75, I think. Uh... Spell cards. Here you go. I pick some up. And now I just need to. God damn it, I'm rich. Just need to grab Queen Mab. Oh, I. Oh, I don't have enough room. What the fuck? What am I carrying? Star? The fuck am I carrying a star for? Star, Emperor, Temper, Hero. I got two Emperors. This one will make Samael for death. Don't really need any type of death person. I got two stars. Jesus, fuck. Oh. Wait. This is the crow? That's the crow. I... Shit. None of these would make a lore for me? Hold up. Let's see. Give me a lovers. Come on. Okay, Raphael. Using who? Star, Temper, Hermit. Oh no, I'm not using my Hermit. Moon, Sun, Devil. Really? King Frost, Sun. Eh, sure, why not? Regenerate. I'm not really gonna be using you anyways, so. Just need you for Rize. Need you for Rize. That's all. Get rid of Poison Moody. Don't need it. Don't care too much for Ice Boost. Not right. Not on this persona, anyways. All right. Now, I used King Frost for that, so I just want to make sure that I still have an Emperor with me. I do. And then I gotta pick up... <clears throat> I gotta pick up the Hero Font again. Manage Rescue... I still don't know what the fuck that is. The Rescue Request bullshit. Sure. Why not? Mm-hmm-hmm. <laughs> That settles that for Rize. Rize's not even out here tonight, so. Hmm. Bye, Yumi. Bye, Yumi. Um. I didn't make a social link with her yet for the janitor, so I don't think. I don't think I need a persona with me right now. Like this second. You busily cleaned the recently vacated hospital room. You feel someone's watching you. You decide to pretend not to notice and continue cleaning. Your courage has increased. Oh, is there someone else here? Nice work. Oh, it's you, the student worker. I see you're doing your job. I'm sorry, I haven't introduced myself. I'm Sayoko Uehara. Nice to meet you. That is a fun name to say. Uehara. The nurse seems kind. When you're done here, come on by the nurse's station. I'll pour you some hot coffee. <laughs> Just kidding. 
I hear you're a high schooler. Yes? Mmm, your skin is so smooth. Hey, you know what I'm getting at, don't you? Uh! Don't worry, no one will see. Not interested. Oh, you're adorable. <laughs> I like you. When the next time when's the next time you're coming? I'll adjust my shift. Looks like even a town like this has something fun to do. You can feel mischievous affection coming from Sayoko. You feel a faint bond forming between yourself and Sayoko. I'm out here getting fucking getting harassed at work. Being high rast. Damn lady, back up. I'll see you again. You finished your job and went home. <laughs> we will never speak of this again. Classes have ended for today. It's raining. Great. Take my ass to the shrine now. Alright. Come on, Fox. Get your ass out here. Give him my fucking discount. I deserve this shit. some time with the fox. It's getting late. I decided to go home. Oh, welcome home, big bro. All right. <clears throat> um, can work as a janitor. There's no reason for me to head upstairs cuz I don't have anything to help with my courage. It's still raining outside. And I highly doubt that Aya's open right now. I think they're out of ingredients at on Rady Nights because of the uh, the beef bowl challenge that they do. Oh yeah, it's closed. <laughs> Alright. Um Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna Head to the hospital, then I'm just kind of doing that to get my, uh... Oh, shit. Now I need her fucking thing. What is she, devil? I'm not gonna focus too much on it, but... Oh, wait, why am I looking at that? I gotta look at my personas. Do I even have a devil? Succubus? What are you? Devil? Devil. Nice. Oh, I can only tutor tonight. Okay. Then I'm tutoring. You decided to work as a tutor today. I'm Shu Nakajima. Nice to meet you. I'm sorry, he's just a shy boy. But he's so smart, you know? He got the highest score in his class on his last test, and the teacher. Mom! Mom! Enough of that. <laughs> We're gonna study now, so get so get out. So get the fuck out, Mom. Oh, of course, dear. I don't want to bother you while you're learning. But still, you can, was it? I hear Yasugami high, sco uh, high scores are starting to climb up there. She was already in his second year of middle school, so we need to start thinking of applying to high schools. Well, knowing him, I'm not worried about getting into a good school, but when it's time for college... Mom, that's enough, I said. Oh, that's another bot. <laughs> it's another bot in the chat. You want some follows? At least I don't get those bots anymore that are like, Hey man, you want follows? Fucking head to bigfollow.com. <laughs> Big old follow. Get the biggest of follows. 
Oh my, I guess you're right. Well then, you can please make sure you teach them all. Study hard, Shu-chan, okay? You sound right. Let me tell you up front, I have no intention of attending Yasugami High. The cram school I was going to wasn't that good, so I decided I needed to switch to private tutoring. You were the only one available, so... If I think you're inadequate, I'll have you replaced immediately. Remember that. Wow! You're a little prick, aren't you? I'm used to hearing that. Yeah, I bet you are. Then, what should we start with? I don't have any subjects that I'm particularly good at. By the way, if you're someone who thinks that these type of people in the world don't exist, where they literally just think that they're smarter than everyone, despite the fact that they're not, I kid you not, there was a kid in my class in high school that literally looked it exactly like this. Looked it, that's not even a fucking word. That literally looked exactly like this. And I remember one time, I guess he was getting in an argument with someone, and then he said out loud, he's like, yes, I do perceive myself to be smarter than everyone in this class. I am a higher human being than all of you. And I just, <laughs> and I turned my head and I was like, I was like, excuse me, motherfucker. I know you're not talking about me, because I'm the one with the highest scores in this class, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm like, you're not talking about me. Excuse me? You feel confident that you should teach him. Get your ass to learning about climbing a rope. Mm. That's not funny. Well, it is to me. She fixes up with an icy glare, but you ignore it. You're damn right. Establish, establish the pecking order. Right off the bat. I'll have you replaced. Yeah. Time to learn PE, you little bitch. <laughs> he grabs concepts quickly. You answer the problems you have for him in no time at all. You work hard in explaining the subject to him in an easy to understand manner. Expression has increased. Knowledge has increased. We'll continue next time. You were a good tutor. It was easy for me to understand what you were talking about. I'm sure my natural intellect had something to do with it as well, of course. You fucking asshole. Get smoke, kid. You are not. <laughs> exactly. I'm, ha I'm happy that we got get smoke, kid, instead of him. Jesus. You're more than welcome to come, uh, to come again whenever you have the time. I'll keep working at my own pace as well. So, uh, please come and teach me again. You were accepted as a new tutor. You have become acquaintances with Shu Nakajima. The snooty tutoring pupil. I gotta take him under my tutelage. Tutelage is a word. It's a fun word to say, too. You feel a faint bond forming between you and Shu. Imagine being in the womb for nine months just to come out and be named after footwear. <laughs> That's a terrible joke. What's. What are you gonna call him? Uh, a shoe? <laughs> I'm laughing at my Bye. own stomach. What the fuck? What kind of goodbye was that? You asshole. You got paid 10,000 yen. I get paid more for doing other shit. I get paid more for fucking making origami cranes. That's a lie. Waiting for Naoto to recover. Oh my fucking god, Naoto. How, how long does it take you to recover? Ko, I swear to god. Okay, never mind. Sorry, Chie. I would, but you're already maxed out. So I'm not worried about it. Alright, who wants to hang out today? Oh, fuck. Forget about hanging out today. I gotta go. Every time I say it, the moment I say it, my back of my head just... Take your ass to the fox. Time to start that final request for the fox. Alright. Coming out here. Tell me that I gotta go fishing.
Fox brought you the Emma. One I see the guardian of of Suchi. Uh, fuck. Shichiri, Shichiri? How the fuck? Damn it! These goddamn names. Whatever. Guardian of the sea. Sea guardian. Get the hell out of here, Fox. Before our contact flees. All right. So this is our final Emma request for the Fox. Maybe the second one that I would consider a pain in the ass. Because the only way you're going to finish this is if you made it to the beach, which you have to ride your motorcycle three times for a short while and then three times for a long while. But before you even do that, well, you can do that before this, but you got to capture the, the River Guardian first before you can capture the Sea Guardian. Oh, it's you. Have you gone fishing? Uh, da, ba, 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 ba. Hard to catch fish. Mm, can't say much about that. Luck is the most important thing to have, of course, but it's true that there are some days where it seems to bite more. You have to figure that one out for yourself. Though, in my experience, see that I tend to get more bites when the river is flowing fast. The flow speed, uh, the flow speeds up, the more water there is. And I don't need to tell you we'll make that, uh, we'll make that happen, do I? Ah oh, yes, yeah, so I remember seeing a fishing guide on sale at a bookstore. I recall it was for advanced anglers. Had some tips on how to reel them in. I say you have nothing to lose by picking it up. Excuse me. Um. Um. What? I do have a fishing rod with me, right? Am I crazy? River rod. Yes. Um. What? He's supposed to tell me about the sea guardian. No, not the sea guardian. The river guardian. Uh oh. I may have done something out of place here. Somebody elderly wishes to see the guardian of the beach. Maybe I gotta get to the beach first in order to unlock that for him. Let me see. If Kanji and Rize aren't available today, then I'll, I'll go unlock the beach right away. But I think Rize might be available. Rize? Yep, you're available. Suzai Dai uh, Daigaku. It's fucking. It's hard to say these names. You came a Rize to. Uh, you came the Rize who seems enthusiastic about eating out. What should I have? Maybe our shop should do something like this. How about a ganmo kebab? Or a tofu croquette? It's pronounced coquette? I thought it was pronounced croquette. Same difference, right? Tomato, tomato? If someone ever fucking said tomato to me, I would hop over the table and hurt them. Well, if it isn't, Rise-chan. Um, you're the deputy mayor, right? Good afternoon. I heard the news. You know, about the upcoming film. Hmm? You haven't heard yet? You know Kanamin, right? Konami Mashita. Konami Mashita. Why are you talking like that? They're gonna be filming nearby, right? I hope they stop by Inaba, too. Oh, I know! Why don't you ask? This guy's got a weird voice. I would not vote for that guy to be my mayor. Even though my voice Kanamin. isn't that good, either. <laughs> I don't have anything to do with them anymore. But wait. How many are coming? We only have small bed and breakfasts around here. Got it! They can stay at the Amagi Inn! Did you not put that together? Already? I thought you would have. You know, because you're the mayor. Alright! I need to go tell that manager guy I was just talking to. Mm. The mayor of a town just going like, Man, we really got nowhere for tourists. If only we had like some sort of 
inn that was famous that our town was known for. That was run by a family. Oh, Rise John. Nice to see you. What the fuck? Why you say it like that, Inoue? You sound pretty angry. Inoue san, what do you want today? He said, Oh, Rize, nice to see you. I'm down here scouting film locations, so I thought I'd come see you. I wanted to hear your answer one more time, face to face. Are you sure you're not coming back? <laughs> I... I'm not going back. I see. Okay, I understand. Well, now I can focus on my new job. I signed up as Konami Mashita's manager. Remember how we were talking about doing that movie? They picked Konami as your replacement. We're gonna sell Konami. I have every confidence she'll be just as popular. No, even more popular than Rizet. Jesus, let her down easy, man. I see. Although, Konami is an ordinary girl, we have to polish her so she sells. <sighs> don't... don't say it like that. We gotta polish her. Like, uh... But you had that spark. You learned fast, adapted well to new situations, had that smile that could be as strong or weak as you needed. And those acting skills of yours, you were like an old pro. You could have reached heights most girls could never dream of. Yeah, that's what I think, anyway. So, I just had to hear it from your own mouth. Well then, goodbye. Stay healthy, okay? <laughs> what the heck? That's not fair. After he made me answer? He never told me any of that when we were still working together. Acting skills? Of course I have them. What the heck? Telling me all that stuff now? It's too late. <laughs> Seems Rize is crying. Hey, why am I crying? There's no reason to cry. There's nothing to be sad about. No, oh, you're not crying. Your eyes are just sweating a bit. Nothing. Senpai, I... I don't know why I'm crying. You mustn't cry, my lady. <laughs> it's too late now. I, I lost everything. I don't know how, but I lost everything. I'm scared. I'm sad. What's going on? Senpai, please stay here. Stay by my side. Senpai. I mean, how can you how can you refuse someone when they act like that, you know? <laughs> it's kind of cold-hearted where where it's just like where it's just like <laughs> I have nothing left in my life. <laughs> and then you just step away from her. <laughs> Senpai. Oh, don't be surprised. Music began pouring out tears. Senpai, I have you. I have the others. You have me for now, until Valentine's Day. I didn't lose everything. I don't know what will happen after that. There are people who need me, right? Rize smiling through her tears. You feel your relationship with Rize has grown deeper. One thing that I'm going to give props on Persona 3 for, well, maybe it was just Persona 3 Portable, but there's a... Uh, there's a moment where if you have multiple girlfriends, there's a scene that plays where where they almost all start to interact with each other. And then it's like it's it's a you Junpei. Um, what's the dude's name? Kenji and Kazuhira, I think the guy's name is like for some reason they know that you're cheating on all of them. So there's this whole fucking clusterfuck that happens of them just like keeping them away from each other <laughs> i think it ends up where like one of them ends up like breaking a door or some shit <laughs> it's like just break the door down <laughs> he's like oh no i broke the door man you should head to the supply closet and go get some some tape or something 
At least that's what I remember anyways. I could be wrong. Could be made up. Could be all in my head. Your relationship with Rize has became intimate. Has I'm going became. home now. My head's all messed up. I need time to think it all over. About how I feel now. I don't want to lose anything more. Goodbye, senpai. See you later, Rize. She kind of put me in a trap on that one. Welcome back. All right. Hey, what do you got for me, Dojima? Ah. Uh. Dojima, push Nanako to your wait. What? Oh, push Nanako to your room for some reason. Now then, first off. It seems Dojima has something in his mind. In his wait, what? In mind. In his mind. In mind. Sorry, but can you go call Nanako down here? What? If you wanted Nanako to be down here, then why the fuck did you tell her to go upstairs? Take your time. You call Nanako as Dojima ordered you to do. You told me to go over there. Exactly, right? I'm on her side. Uh, well, today is a special day for us. A special day? That's right. Today's the day when you, me, and him become family. What about before? Uh, well, anyways, it's the day that we become a real family. I love how Dojima has no words, because he's all like, uh, Before, I think he was just like some bitch living under my house for free. <laughs> living under my roof. Hmm. I don't really get it, but it makes me happy. Leeching off of my paychecks. Right, let's eat. Yeah! It's been an enjoyable time together. Nanako used up all her energy and fell asleep. Well, uh, sorry about making you go along with this. I don't mind, it was fun. I like, I like moments like this, right? Like right now I've been watching, I've been, I've been binging The Simpsons, right? And whenever like Homer does like some type of crazy shit like this for Marge, it's like, aw, that's sweet. That's beautiful. I like it. It's cool. Huh? You're a nice guy. I felt like I needed to do this to draw the line. And I wanted Nanako to know. She has to know how important my daughter is to me. <laughs> she has to know how important my daughter is to me. Not how important she is to me. You worded that weirdly, Dojima, but I'ma let you I'ma let you roll with it. She's looking more and more like Shizato. Her smile, her strong attitude. It was hard for me to even look at Nanako's face. Because she reminds me so much of Chisato. Chisato died because she went to pick up Nanako. There were times when I'd come close to believing that. But even then, I can't count the number of times she saved me just by being there. If I was living by myself, I would never have thought about taking you in. I think I was scared. Scared to have someone else around. I was afraid we'd become a family. And then I'd lose it all again. I was running away by chasing a guy who'd run away himself. <laughs> it was almost funny. Dojima's smile looks sad. I've been scared this whole time. That's why I used revenge as an excuse to not spend time with her. So you stopped running. That's right. I can't make Nanako wait any longer. Running, regretting, that crap all ends tonight. I'm not gonna lose the things that are important to me. Never again. You can feel Dojima's strong resolve. The Ryotaro Dojima social link has reached level nine. That's the strength you've shown me. Thanks. 
You sat with Ojima for some time in silence before going to your room. You can't sit in silence after him pouring his heart out to you like that. That's fucking weird. He's like, thanks, man. Yeah, no problem, man. Now we're just going to sit here. All right. We're done talking about blood now. Hey, we still have a little time left. I guess I'll keep talking then. Speaking of blood, do you know what dragon's blood is? <laughs> it's nothing like a fantasy novel. Not exactly the blood of a dragon. Dragon's blood is bright red resin taken from a plant called Dra Dracania. It was valued in olden days as an almighty medicine. So snake oil, basically. So basically it was the apple cider vinegar of its day. And it actually has the ability to reduce inflammation. The people of old were so were such romantics to call these tree to call these tree resins dragon's blood. You listen to the lecture intently. 